guys, it's me, Ursula Thomas, and welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome to my channel. Hey, don't you know, it's a thrifting show. And all of my youthy cuties and my newbies, welcome to the channel. Welcome, guys, to the channel. I love you guys so much. And if you are a person that has been clicking on the click on and you ain't subscribed, go ahead on and subscribe. Please give me a like, share, and a thumbs up. That helps me so, 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 so much. It helps YouTube push me out. Push me out. And I want to be pushed out. Because I'm trying to reach 5,000 quick, fast, and a hurry. I would love to reach it before the new year. I can only do that with you guys. I can't do it by myself. So every time y'all give me a thumbs up, YouTube said, mm, okay, let's take a little farther and a little farther and a little farther. But that's only if you like what I do. If you like hanging with me, because this is what this channel is all about. This is Ursula Thomas Thrift Fashion Finds, and it's all about hanging out with me. I had to throw that in there because I'm thinking about changing my name. So with that being said, you know by now when you see me, it is a thrift haul. It's a ride along me. It's a shot with me. I keep saying cook with me. We getting there. And all of the things, honey. I get that from one of my favorite YouTube shops. And all of the things, honey. So with that being said, guys, I love you guys so much that I had to hurry up and get on here and click on even during my birthday month. What you said, I said it and I said it again. Even during my birthday. It's my birthday and I love it. It's my birthday and I love it. Y'all, it's something about... Yo, you really should celebrate the month. And I'm going to tell you why. You have to understand that in the heavenlies, oh, if you don't know, if you're a newbie and you don't know, honey, baby, we love Jesus Christ. We are a Jesus Christ follower over here. And I get it. If that ain't your judge, then you know what? And you ain't feeling it. I do get it. Because the people that God has for me in this community, y'all see how I did that? The people that God has for me in this community, they already know. And God going to give you the people that he wants in your tribe, your community. And that's what I love. So with that being said, guys, like I was going to say, the thing about celebrating the whole month. That is the time that God said, you know what? She's coming this month. Ooh, she coming this month. So the heavens and everything prepared, prepared for you to grace the earth. In this month. Don't you know I love that? Don't you know I love that? Listen, I got to get off of y'all. I've been having 30 minute hauls, 40 minute haul, 50 minute haul. Now, don't pay attention to any of this except this. Because I'm going to tell you guys what. I wanted to do just an all vintage haul. Even though I thrifted so much stuff. Y'all, I, I hit the jackpot. Jackpot. Y'all yeah, hit the jackpot. I hit the jackpot. So that being said, we're going to jump right into it. So what I did was, I also want to go back and reintroduce you guys to some of the pieces that I might have shared with you guys a while ago, but you guys have forgotten about it. So I want to bring them back out so you guys can see it. And we're going to jump right into it, starting with this lovely piece. Do y'all remember this? I don't know. I know I had to share it, but if I didn't, then it's getting reshared. Oh, you know what? Let me start with this beautiful sweater. And I'm going to show y'all a picture and listen, listen, listen. Don't pay no attention to everything going on behind you. That's not what I'm showing you. I'm showing you this beautiful, beautiful sweater. So you should be seeing it now. Y'all, I love this sweater. This is one of my favorite, one of my favorite sweaters that I have thrifted. I love this sweater, y'all. I love it. And I think I got it from the bonds, y'all. No, I'm lying. I got it from the regular Goodwill because I remember I went in and it was the only thing I got. Oh my God. So I did do, see how my brain where I did do a ride along with me. I took you guys with me. So I'm going to try to post that uh, next. But I'm, I got to show you guys the, if you guys have a five below in your area and you want to spend a good five dollars, baby, go get these. You hear me? Go get these. Lord, I got them in a pink. I got them in a green. I got them in a white. Go get, baby, this right here, I mean, it's the best fat. You, I can, I can feel the heat right now. Baby, I put these on in the morning because it's been, girl, let me tell y'all. Winter bullying fall. Winter is bullying fall. And it was cold yesterday, yesterday morning. And yesterday, yesterday night. And, and this morning. 
It was cold, and I put these on, baby. This the best five dollars. They five dollars. The best. Five. Go get you some. You got a five below, and you like. That's got to be. You got to be like me. You know, I like being able to just slide my feet in something warm. I think I told you guys this before. And baby, y'all are seeing. That's the best five dollars. Anyway, let's get back to vintage. Vintage. What is vintage? Anyway. I love this. Now, this is like a sweater. It's like a big old long jumper sweater. Y'all, I absolutely love this. I love, can y'all see? It's like a big old sweater, y'all. And then it had the nerve to have animal print. And I just could not. And it was in good condition. So I can't even remember where I got this from. Y'all, I have so much beautiful vintage. Because I have always been liking vintage before vintage became popular, honey. Because I told you, that's a way you can get quality without spending so much. So I don't even look. I don't know where to sit. I got, I got so much going on. I guess it's going to be piled up over there. Then I had to bring this back out. This is not a newbie. This is vintage as well. IP New York. But all I seen was this with, it's the color for me. And then, I'm going to show y'all, if I run across it, I thrifted this little hat. Now, even though you can tell that they are two different, like, turquoise or two uh, different, like, colors, they're in the same color family. So, I just imagine this with a black belt. I will put a belt in some black boots. She's vintage, y'all, and the material, and it almost has like that. I'm telling you guys, only, and then she, like a turtle mock neck. All fashion does, y'all. It, all it does is repeat itself. And if I can't get nothing else going, again, y'all, to listen or hear it, please hear that. Please here, fashion does nothing. This nothing is new under the sun. These things and items are not new. They just gonna repeat. Just think about it when we was young. The name changed, but it's the game the same. And then I got this. Look at this. Now, this is a new find. Now, I know for some of you, you saying, mm-mm, girl, but I'm telling you, it's all in how you style it. It's all in how you put it to work. Now, me personally, most of the times, I don't bother my shoulder pads. I love... It, to me, shoulder pads sometimes give it such an elegant look, and I love my shoulder pads. So, yes, I y'all know I like color, and look at it. And it's that good polyester. She been hanging out with the good girls. She, that's that good polyester. Next, I got these hats, and I'm gonna try. I was trying to just show y'all pure vintage, and then say the other stuff for the next video. Cause if I don't, we'll be here way over an hour. But I thrifted these hats, y'all know I am a hat lover, and I'm always gonna pick up. Look at this. Look, even with this sweater, I'm always gonna pick up. Now this a good hat. I ain't no way. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Look at this with the colors. And I was thinking, of all, it, it has like pastel, like Easter colors, so it'd be perfect for spring. But I was just thinking like, baby, with all this color going on this fall, which I love, I thought I put on all blue jeans, a, a Canadian tuxedo, and I throw this on for a popular, popular, a pop of color. And then the next hat is, y'all know, y'all know, I'm going to pick up a hat, put the hats right there. Now, I'm going to skip over these. And I'm going to skip over these because they are not vintage. I'm going to skip over these because they are not vintage. And I'm going to show y'all this. that I almost didn't get it because I'm going to tell y'all why. I have something so similar. And y'all been following me. Y'all going to remember. But, baby, this this when I saw it, I saw, I saw a big hat. I saw a big clutch. I saw some slouch boots. And I saw me, like, prancing down New York Avenue or something. Girl, I don't even know if that's a real street. But, baby, look at this. She is a three-piece, and she was only, what I pay for this? $9.99. And it's so funny, y'all, because I be thinking sometimes when I thrift, thrift these uh, vintage items, and I be thinking back in the day, this this probably was, what, was one of the cheapest suits. This probably was at some old cheap store for uh, uh, probably 20 bucks or so, you know? But it just stood the test of time because if y'all just think about it even back then the cheap stuff was made better 
even back then, most of the cheap stuff was made better. It was made better. So, honey, she is the it's the blazer. It's the blazer for me. It's the blazer for me. And then she had the nerve to have a shirt. And at first I was like, mm, I wouldn't do it all together. Then I lied. When I tried on, I said, Yes, I am going to. I'ma just, I'ma just give it all at once. Look at that. Look at look at the collar. And then the pants, y'all. The pants. Y'all. I'm so glad. I picked this up and I really started not to get it because I was like, oh, mm, that's so similar to something I already have. And I, I'm going to tell y'all, I, I picked it up. I walked around with it. Then I, what I pay for this? I think it was on sale for $6 or $10 or something like that. But I picked it up. I walked, oh, I might have paid for $12. i am not sure. Because I thought it was $9.99. But I, I can't remember. I think it was on sale. I think, I'm not sure. The regular price was 12 And I'm not, I can't remember if I bought it on sale. Bought it. Bought it on sale for $9.99 or not. But anyway, it wasn't more than $12. It wasn't more than $13. And so I picked it up, y'all. I walked around with it and I put it down. I picked it up, y'all, and I walked around with it and I put it down. Then I picked it up that last time and I was like, girl, go ahead on. Go on now. Go on, go on. I might as well go and show y'all this. This sweater, I have to be honest. It's not one of my favorites, but I this is leather, y'all. And y'all know how I feel about leather. And I thought with some leather leggings or faux leather leggings and this sweater, this is leather. The sweater is knit and leather, y'all. How could I leave it? How? Only thing about it is I haven't cleaned it because I can't throw it in the washer. Oh, I can throw it in the washer and the leather because y'all know I have washed leather before. Uh, this is just an H and M dress that I'm not finna start showing you because then I start pulling it all out. And this, y'all know how I feel about a vintage blouse. Oh, it's just washing it out. I don't like that, y'all. I'm getting that fixed asap. I'm. It's gonna change. You're gonna see like a fuzz, but I got to show it to you. It's a vintage. Top, look at that with the little swoop neck. No, some pants or something came with this. Had to. Y'all, it might not look like nothing. It says fully fashion. It might not look like nothing, but baby, this is so. This is the top. Now, normally I try to try it on and then later on, you know, when I get to ed get into editing the video, I try to put it together. But today I'm trying it on, doing everything all at once because it's my birthday and I ain't going to be bothered. But I don't have on the best bra. So so I got on the sports. It's not, it's not even a sports bra, y'all. It's like one of these little uh, girl, what you got, belly tops. But when I'm around the house and I'm not really going nowhere and I like for, to be comfortable and free, this came from Five Below. I'm going to tell y'all something. If y'all just like, if you're not just like bras all the time and you just like to be comfy and free sometimes, especially oversized dresses, go and get these. Go to the $5 store, get you a bunch of these in different color, and don't get your size. If you wear a large extra, get a small. That way they're going to hold you some. Because if you get a larger extra large, they're so stretchy, you're just going to flip, flip, you're going you're gonna to flip, flip. But at least if you get a small, you're going to come, just, you're going to, instead of just being flip, flip, I think you're just going to flip like that. So, like, see, instead of me just flip, flipping down here, I'm flip just a little bit. The, enough to use somebody can say, well, she got something on, just ain't no good. I believe it like that. Anyway, so look at this. I, when I saw it, I just fell in love. I'm telling y'all, I hit the jackpot. And she 100% still. Dun John Fonsterberg. What is that woman name now? I, child, what is this woman name? Diane Von Fontenberg. Okay. Now y'all. Silk. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all ain't seen nothing. I ain't even touched this. I started not to get this, but I just, y'all seen this before. I started not to get this because. I got three like it. I'm going to set this aside so I can show it to you later. 
Then I got this. Love. And I've seen this before. I can't remember if I seen somebody haul it, uh, but I ran across it before, but it had some of the um bees missing. This one was brand new. It was brand new. It's the color for me. And all the bees. And most of your most of your vintage stuff gonna have shoulder pads. But I just got this little number here. Look at the color. And she 100 percent silk. Gorgeous gorgeous and you can really turn that into a fall piece it's just your accessories and then we gonna keep it moving y'all this the other piece but i got i got one more piece i want to compare all of them and show you guys is this right here and this why i said i started not to get this piece right here because i had this piece and y'all know i got one more that's so close the thing, I love the idea of long floral dresses in the fall and the winter. Believe it or not. To me, they're just not for the summer. But the thing that I don't like is, it don't that look Halloween-ish? It's, it's the pop of the orange. Now, I wanted to, I did thrift a orange coat, an orange like blue jean style jacket. And I wanted to put it on with this, but I just feel like orange and black. It's like red and green. Anyway, so... But then, that's what they did. Because look at this one. This one is green and orange with the base color black. So, I have these two. And I said, I'm not thrifted another one like it. Because if I run across the other one, I think I pulled it out. I, I did. So, no, did I? I can't remember if I pulled it out or not. So, I can show you guys all three of them. Then, the next thing I got, and y'all know this is all the rave. I, I've had... I thrifted one like this with pockets on the side. I thrifted one like this that buttoned up the front that I never wore that I absolutely loved. And if you remember long videos ago, I uh, if I can find a picture, I will. Y'all know I'll show you guys. And I love that skirt, and I never wore that skirt. And then when I came across this one, I was like, I'm definitely wearing this one with some boots. And I love, y'all know these all the rays. No way. No way should a bargain hunter or a thrifter go in anybody's store and pay for nothing like this when they all over the thrift store. Oh, don't you do it. If you, a part, that's why I said with some trends or you a trendy person that you might like, like I genuinely like this, right? But also that it's trendy. It's like, oh, I get a chance to revisit my blue jean skirt. Going in a store and purchasing this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Who going to do that? Nah, uh-uh. Next, I'm going to put these over here. I just show them. I grab these. I'm always getting liquid leggings or, or faux leggings. And they pretty little things. They new with tags. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. I thrifted those, and then I thrifted some more that were, baby, that was the best faux leather looking leggings. And I'm going to show y'all a picture because I already won. That I thrifted. Let me tell y'all what happened. I got in them, and the zipper stuck. And I had to rip, rip them. To get out. And so I had to I had to redonate. My redonate was somebody that don't mind sewing. Cause it's not that it was the it's not that they tore completely up, but the ripper part, the zipper part, I just had to pop like that. That's why I really don't like them size zippers. I really don't it was like the material or something got stuck up in that zipper and I couldn't maneuver it. Anyway, this is one of my another one of my favorite. Yeah, I love this sweater. I love this sweater. Look at that. that. Next we got, y'all know my love. I'm going to show them at the same time. Because we don't have no 40 minute video. Look. And y'all know I have another one that's so close to this one. But how could I? And, it, and it's like that Valentino pink. It's like that Valentino pink. And if I wanted to, I could change the buttons. But I'm not going to change anything. And now this one, I was a little hesitant about because it can look dated. But I was trying to decide, do I want to keep this part or cut that part out? Because this part is what, you know, kind of make it more conservative, keep your breasts and stuff in from showing. But it also, because of how it looks, it does look a little dated. So, I'm going to play around with this one, but I still love it. I still Because I don't think any of the other stuff is vintage. I just had to wash that jacket and I just hung it there. That's a tuxedo suit that I just thrifted. I thrifted two. I thrifted a 
uh, I've thrifted one that fits me up here real good, but they altered it. They altered the jacket. They altered the pants. So the pants does not fit. This one is too big. Uh, this one is, I done got some paint or something. Oh, that's washing. For the population. That's the dress for the population dress. New with tag. Next, I got, I hit the mother low, baby. I hit the mother low. Look at this. Look at that. Boy, look at this. Do y'all see that? gorgeous gorgeous this was not my favorite my husband wanted me to get this one it's so thin but it's so cute on i don't know if y'all really can see it's so cute on and it just looked like the fall leaves and she thin so i would actually put my bodysuit on under that and wear that like it's a um like they like tights with a top on on this i just grabbed this it does not fit but I'm thinking about wearing it as a top. But look at them colors. Baby. This is Leslie Faye. Baby, look. Bumblebee. Bzz, call me Bumblebee. Miss Bumblebee. She bu Miss Bumblebee. Miss, Miss, she can be a dress or a coat. I love them all black. And I thrifted one. It's a leopard print onesie. That's what I call it. Can you see my black onesies with this? It's, it just throw this on with some boots and a hat. Miss Bumba 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 B. Miss Bumba 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 B. Miss, okay, I got too much to do. Okay, then, y'all, look at this. Y'all, when I say I hit the mother load, the mother load. And I'm thinking about redonating this. It's 100% silk. That's why I picked it up. And it was $3.00. In some sense, and I'm thinking about just redonating it, and that's why I got it because it doesn't. I might keep it, but it's really big and it don't fit me, even with the slouch look like I had imagined it. Uh, but I was like, the silk, a whole silk, a whole, a whole silk jogging suit, a whole silk jogging suit. They 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 ain't doing it for me right now, but they will. But look at that. I thought you could dress these up with you know how they had those. I guess they would be like the faux Burberry uh jacks and stuff. Well, I had I thrifted a real Burberry bomber jacket uh about five years ago, I think. And it's reversible. And I thought that jacket with these right here, if I can, it's packed up somewhere because if I can remember where exactly where it's at, I would go get it for you guys. But yeah, and I thought these would be cute. So when I saw these, I just grabbed them. I looked and they said, Lord, I grabbed them. I said, oh, they're going to work. Then I know I have showed you guys this, but I just wanted to bring it. But look at that, y'all. And I have, I have about... Two or three more sweaters that I kind of glance through my winter stuff. Now, this is the other one. So, this is the third one. Y'all remember this? This is the third one. So, I have this one with the brown. Y'all remember this? That I said I wanted a white blue jean jacket. Still haven't found one yet to go with this one. So, I got this one. And also, so, I'm not getting another one on this style. I don't need another one. I just got to throw them on. I'm just going to throw them on. Wear them to the grocery store. I might throw it on with to the toilet. I don't know. And then I got this. And I'm going to tell you, the only problem I have with this, because I thought, I was like, I could make this work. I don't know how vintage it is, but I was like, I could make this work. You know, because feathers are all the right. The problem that I have, and I feel like sometimes that's the difference between luxury and certain items. Because the problem I have, I feel like if this was luxury, I feel like they would have made this all the way around to the back. Why you stop at the front? Why you just give them some walk up action and no walk away action? You need both. You need walk up action. Somebody said, "Ooh," and you need walk away. It's like, okay, feathers. You need both. You don't. You why? What? Why would you do that? And I feel like if it was luxury, I feel like this would be all the way around. And then y'all, I got to show y'all these. And I know that then I thrifted me some black boots, two pair, and I think I showed you guys these. I always pick up y'all run across a uh, gloves, baby gloves take you to the next level. I always get you some gloves. And then 
Some of you probably done seen me. Y'all, I wanted to cry. Because I didn't care that they didn't fit my calf. I just seen they was an eight and a half, and I said they gonna fit my foot. They are 100% leather. Yeah, now, the only problem is that right there. You see that? Don't y'all know you can take it somewhere and get that little, get, get you. Baby, go to the dollar store and get you some purple paint and just tab just a little bit. They don't want to mess it up. But me, I leave it just like that because that don't bother me. That that just show you, that just show you they love. I want it to cry because they do not fit. They said they're eight and a half. Baby, these are some leather. Do you know the stuff I could do with this? Y'all know when I do that, I be trying to see a thumbnail. Y'all, let me go ahead on um, and just try to do a thumbnail so I can get on off of here. Y'all, maybe I need to put this jacket. Oh, they don't fit. They are eight and a half. But they got, I feel like if you are seven, did I just tear this up? I heard some go, Rrr. I feel like if you are a seven, maybe a seven and a half, they don't fit. You see these purple boots? They don't fit. I know people don't do that no more, but hey, look at this. All right, that's it. That's the thumbnail. All right, y'all. So I know I tried to run through it. And then, you know, what I got back here? Do I have anything else back here? I don't think I have anything else but, but my water. Y'all told you I'm back on it. I got my water and my iced coffee. Y'all just getting time out for my iced coffee. Let me get off. I picked these up. Ain't they cute? Don't they look vintage? They was three books. Brand new. I got these from a yard sale with this. Can y'all see that? Yeah, can you see it? It's a black and white like dress, and I've got these, and I'm gonna make do a little look. Anyway, that's that's all I got for you guys. That's it. Please let me know what you what you enjoy. I did get another leather over there, but we'll talk about that on the next video. Cause the next video I'll show you guys the other stuff, the uh regular old stuff. But y'all. Please be the solution to somebody's problem. Y'all, I picked up. I got to show y'all this. I know we in third. I got, or do I want to wait? I'll wait. Anyway, so anyway, please be the solution to somebody's problem. I did get these, y'all. And y'all, listen, they fit my calf. All these grown women calves, they fit. Baby, I had got them to sell because they brand new. And baby, they just sway and left up. I tried these on and they zipped. Look, I said, huh? Girl, the girl gone on. Gone on. That's it. Be the sun. It's my birthday month. It's my birthday month. It's my birthday month. It's my birthday month. Go, Amy. Rich, Amy. Go, Amy. Y'all looking at a dress over there that I forgot to show y'all because I washed it and hung it up over there. So, I pop it on in the try on haul. Bye. I love you guys. Be the Solution, be the solution.